What's good, y'all? It's Shagama Kyle. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to download subscribers. Make sure you subscribe. It helps. Over here on this channel, we talk about the NBA daily. So if you enjoy the NBA as much as I do, please subscribe. And man, Damian Lillard needed to be out of Portland yesterday because what they're doing to that man's career should be illegal. Like whoever's running, you know, Portland, whether the GM, the coach, the owner, everybody in there needs to be in prison for what they're doing to this man now. It's really about, it's, it's really Dame's fault because, you know, year after year after year, he said, you know, oh, I'm staying solid. I can never leave my team. I want to win in Portland. You know, all these cats running from the ground. Like, he was getting that Paul George because he keeps leaving teams to get a ring. But it's getting to the point where it's like, you need to do that too, bro. Because it's like, let, let's let's be honest here. Let's keep it a buck right here. Damian Lillard will never win a ring in Portland. Now, I'm not saying there's a 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 chance of that happening, but it would take a miracle. It would take a star coming to Portland, which is not going to happen, which definitely won't happen. Like a huge star, like a, like a, a Kawhi Leonard type. And it would take, you know, let's say in, in this draft, they hit on a draft pick like in the 20s. Let's say they get like a future superstar in the draft. It would take something crazy, like something like miracle, like, like that for them to win a championship. And, you know. The, the days of, you know, CJ McCollum being able to be the second option on a championship team, really, those days never were, you know, even existing. CJ McCollum, at best, is probably a third option on a championship team. And when you have such, you know, when you have two negative defenders in the backcourt, it's really just a recipe for disaster because Damian Lillard cannot guard anybody. CJ McCollum can't guard anybody. So whenever there's, a, you know, an elite star point guard on, on the other end, there's nobody to hide them all. So now you got... Dan guarding guys like Westbrook and Steph and Chris Paul. And you know, he's getting tortured and he has to carry the offense so much. You can't expect him to do much on defense anyway, but David's not a good defender at all. But the man just averaged 34 and 10, you know, in the, in the 2021 playoffs against the, uh, against the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets did not have Jamal Murray, but yet somehow the Portland Trailblazers still lost the series. That cannot happen. If I was Dame, I would want to throw up because I'd be so angry that this happened. And, you know, he said it. No, 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 wait. The GM of Portland said it. He said, we cannot lose to a team without their second best guy. Well, you just did. And now you're costing Dame the chance to really use his prime years to, you know, really compete in the West and in the NBA. So, yeah, man. Free Damian Lillard. I think when I think of Damian of a Damian Lillard trade, there's only a couple teams that come to mind. The Boston Celtics need to get on the phone immediately. Brad Stevens, who is now the GM, who used to be the coach. He needs to get on the phone with whoever is the GM at Portland. I don't even know his name. But yeah, he needs to get on the phone with him because Jalen Brown for Damian Lillard, obviously more than Jalen Brown. It'd be, you know, Jalen Brown, uh, you know, a bunch of, obviously a whole bowl of the picks that is, you know, a superstar is Damian Lillard. But Jalen Brown, it would probably be Marcus Smart. Kemba would have to go in the deal. You know, guys like that. A deal like that, it doesn't come around often. So if you get the chance to... If you get the chance to pair, you know, Jason Tatum and Damian Lillard together, you, you know, you do that. You do that immediately. Now, also, the Denver Nuggets, who I just spoke about, they can have an enticing offer because they've got, you know, guys like Michael Porter Jr. They got Bowl Bowl. They could potentially send Jamal Murray in a deal because I think you don't want them to be the backcourt if that's the case. But, yeah, man, there's a lot of teams in the NBA that, have, that could put together nice packages for Damian Lillard. Another team is definitely the Philadelphia 76ers. And, you know, you would send Ben Simmons. And I know Philly fans, they love Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is, you know, a, a god over there. But any of these guys that I just named, oh, Brandon Ingram from the Pelicans. But if you're going to trade for, you know, Damian Lillard in the position the Pelicans are in right now, I don't know about that because you're not really going to be a contender. You're just, you know, kind of rebuilding right now. So it's not really smart. But, yeah, man. Damian Lillard, the second best shooter in the NBA right now. He's a really, really great passer. He can do a lot of things on the floor offensively. And, you know, it's just sad that his talent is getting wasted in Portland. Now, Portland, they are a perennial playoff team. Like, there's never going to be a doubt whether they make the playoffs or not. Because that's just how good Damian Lillard is. But when you look at their team outside of Damian CJ, and even CJ is a little shaky because... He's not really the most efficient guy. He has a really, a, he has a really, really wide arsenal of moves, you know, to score with. But he's not really an efficient type guy, and he can't de play defense or pass. So when he's not scoring, he's not really doing much for you. And then the the third best guy is probably Yusuf Nurkic. 
He's a fine big man. He's a fine passer for a big man. He's a okay post player, I suppose. He can hit a shot or two here or there, but nothing really about him screams better than average than me. Like he's really just an uh, average starter level big man. And then you got, you know, guys like, you know, Melo and Derrick Jones Jr. and Robert Covington. Like, this Portland team just it isn't it. Like, they, they're they stuck in a spot that NBA teams do not want to be in. They're too good to tank and get a high pick, but they're too bad to really compete for, you know, a championship. So they're kind of in this weird purgatory stage where it's like, do we just blow it up or do we, you know, moving forward, try to just win what we have right now? And, you know... I'm pretty sure there's going to be some comments out there like, oh, just trade CJ and build around with Dame. Like, get a start for CJ. CJ McCollum is making $29 million a year, and he's not really all that amazing of a player. If I'm any other NBA team, if, if the Portland Trailblazers call me about CJ McCollum, and they say, take CJ McCollum, give us, you know, a, a, a good defensive two-way wing or two-way star or two-way guy in the backcourt, I'm hanging up the phone immediately because... CJ McCollum cannot be the focal point of any star trade in the NBA. He could be the focal point of, you know, some good solid role players, like some good defenders in Portland. But at that point, you're really just making your team worse. And I just think Portland needs to blow it up. Now, it's hard to blow it up when you have a superstar because unless Damian Lillard explicitly acts out, which he has not, which I don't think he'll do. But unless he acts out, there's really no real reason to trade him. He's not a problem. He's a really good player. He get, you know, he puts butts in the seats in whatever Portland's arena is called. But yeah, I just think that Damian Lillard should ax out. He should have been axed out. But if there was ever a reason to ax out, and now, you know, eventually if he does ax out, there's going to be folks like, oh, but you were the one saying I'll never leave Portland. You were the one saying that, you know, I'll forever stay in Portland. I'll try to win in Portland. There's going to be guys like that, but I'm not going to be one of those guys because when you lose to a team without their second best scorer and their second best player in, in, you know, in general, and that team cannot play defense like the Denver Nuggets, that's just, a, there's no excuse for that. I mean, CJ just did not show up, Melo didn't show up, Nurkis didn't show up. It was literally only Damian Lillard, you know, showing out. And, you know, he had a 50-point game and they, and they even lost that game. So it's just a real sad situation for Dave, man. I really hope he gets freed. Send him to Boston, Philadelphia, or Denver. One of those teams. I want to see that. But yeah, man, you see at the end of the video. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Man, I'll see you on the next one.